So after we created these blocks here, let's try to understand the principle of the slide line. Simply what happened here, a group of lines being produced. By producing these lines or the actual names for them are parser segments, a group of parser segments being produced. By producing each one of these parser segments, that enclosed the space and created a parcel, uh, which is why we're having the parcel label shown here, showing the parcel number and the area. So it's just a enclosed space being created by drawing one line. Let's try to understand these new lines being produced. We chose the option for slide line or slide parcel segments. The option we chose, so we chose the slide line, create. If you look at that, if I select the line here, as you can see, there's just one location I can grab that line and move it. And you see the shape here it shows that diamond shape. That means I can just slide it along the frontage line, what we specified as the frontage here. So that's why they call it slide lines, because we can slide them. If you notice, I can just move this line, slide it along the frontage. By sliding that line, all the areas will change on both sides of that line. So I'll just undo. That's why we call them slide lines for creating these parcels. So it's very important to understand that when we create the slide line, you can slide it just on the frontage line. You can't slide it from the other end. And that will be very handy to know when we're designing these type of allotments where we have a group of allotments designed to be back to back with each other. Let's see what's the issue may come up on this arrangement. Let's design this block of land to be subdivided. So we'll go back to the parcel, parcel creation tool, and we'll choose the same slide line create for the same configuration. And we've got the same settings on our parcels. Go OK, select the parcel, select the frontage, enter. The option we've got, redispute the reminder, use the smallest area. As I said, I always check use the smallest frontage to see if that will give me any better option. Not really. I'll stick with the first one, use the smallest area. OK, accept the solution. Let's close and start again. So let's go to slide line create with the same configuration, the same settings. We're choosing this parcel and this is our frontage here. Right click enter and this is the arrangement we got. Accept the solution and close. Let's see what we came up with. So the blocks, they look from a distance identical almost. But if I zoom in, you see the boundaries of these two blocks for example they offset it away from each other with a very small distance which is usually not a great design to do that if i measure that distance here it's 0.1 of a meter 110 millimeters away from each other so this is usually not a great design if we go back and check our layout for the land title you see the boundaries usually they line up exactly at the same point because the accuracy of these drawings usually is not very high so you don't have to have very small measurements shown here we should try to avoid showing that as much as possible so to do so obviously we need to uh, amend our boundary lines to line up together that's where the issue will come up if I try to amend this line here to be in line with the other line simply I have to the grid point for this line is on this side, whereas the line I'm trying to line up with on this side here. So if I try to, it's very hard usually to, to do it. Yes, it work now, but in other cases, there's a chance that it won't work or will appear to you that it worked, but the accuracy is not 100% right. So to avoid an issue like this, what we usually do for allotments, they are back to back with each other. For the second set of allotments, what we can do, simply we can just do the same way what we've done with one minor difference. So we've got the same settings and we choose the slide line. We maintain the same settings on the parcel segments and we select our parcel. But now rather than choosing this side for the frontage, we'll choose this common line between the two properties as our frontage. So if I choose by choosing this, this will give me 
a huge advantage that the new segments will grip to this side of the property you will see now in a second and that will allow me to edit them in much quicker way and I'll go enter for the angle at 90 degrees and I'm happy with that solution I'll go enter and close the main advantage we got now that we didn't have before if I need to amend the boundaries here I can just simply I have the grip on this side of the boundary and I can just amend them quickly and make sure they all line up 100% I go over them obviously you have to keep an eye on your area make sure that your area is still within the parameters that we we require so now by fixing all these boundaries to make sure they all lined up 100% we can say this area is finished for the design one of the other things that we need to look at when we need to edit the segments for example when we're drawing the polyline we forgot to make the chamfer on this edge here similar to that edge all these edges on the sides so if we need to make a chamfer here what can we do if I try to draw a line using the AutoCAD commands standard commands and try to trim to that line simply as you can see AutoCAD commands doesn't work with the segment uh, the parser segments so this is not going to work instead of we're using the standard AutoCAD commands we have a set of commands just for the parser segments so if I select one of these parser segments that will open a the contextual ribbon for the parser segment and one of the options we've got there edit geometry if you look at the tools we've got here those are designed mainly just to amend or edit the parser segments so we have the trim we have break join all of those standard or similar to the standard AutoCAD commands but mainly designed for the parcel segments editing so to do that if I need to create a chamfer here I know for a fact these chamfers being created at 3.5 by 3.5 meters so if we need to create something like that or 3 meters by 3 meters so what we need to create a chamfer will be at 3 meters from this side and 3 meters from that side to do so we have various methods of doing it from experience we found that it's easier simply to sketch your change using standard AutoCAD objects like lines and polylines that's usually easier to sketch it over your segments what you need to make as a change and then from there you can start applying your change to the segments and we'll see how we can do that simply if I draw a line three meters each side so if I go from one corner click on it and drawing a line along this uh, parser segment at three meters long and then another line from the corner all the way three meters to that parser segment so by drawing that line it's easier now to pinpoint the the actual two points that we, we're trying to trim to we have a few options here that's the stage we start using the um, parser segment editing tools so we have the option of either drawing a new parser segment here and we can trim to it or we can just insert new uh, intersection points at this location and that location and we can just amend our parser shape to that so I'll try one of the options I'll just delete this standard line we don't need this anymore that was just to draw three meters on each side so if I select this parser segment here I can insert a PI which is intersection point for the parser segment at this location it will ask me for the elevation elevation is zero simply because we don't have survey data into our file yet that means everything on our file is still at elevation zero we don't have data points for the heights and the northing and southing northing and easting sorry that means all the points we still have at elevation zero so I type zero enter and that new intersection point being created now insert a new intersection point at this location here and we'll ask for the elevation again I'll choose zero enter and I'm done so I'll escape a few times that means if you select your parser segment now on the corner you can tell there's a new point has been created here 
so we can just simply drag this point to one of them so because we we have already that point there we won't be able to drag to it so i can just move that point somewhere you don't need even to create that point but we we had it there just to show how to create the points there and i can drag this point here to the end of that line if you look at it simply by creating these new points that made the line hinging around this new point what we created if we don't have this point in place this means when we move that corner that will start hinging from this point here so we got that sorted we still have the line here just make sure you delete all the lines that you drawn for sketching you can delete by selecting from left to right that will select the line only and press delete that will delete your sketching line we can try another method on this corner here I can just simply draw another line along this edge of the boundary and one other line along this edge here and I can offset these two lines by three meters offset three simply what I did just I offset these two lines by three meters make sure when you offset these two lines double check this intersection sometimes doesn't come to the, to the end so make sure that this offset is already there 100% enter so we've got these two lines being offset at 3 meters simply now what we can do we can just draw a parser segment at that location a single segment the same settings what we had before for the parcel area numbering single family all the settings what we had before click OK and simply all you have to do is just connect between these two points straight away by connecting these two points simply that's that created an enclosed area here between the existing parcel lines and the new line or the new parcel uh, segment that we just created assuming this enclosed area is a, a boundary for a property that's why it gave it a parcel number and an area so what we have to do now simply just closing this deleting all the lines the sketching lines what we call them delete those and we have to trim to this line here using the parcel segment editing tools we can choose trim and that will work exactly the same as the AutoCAD standard trim tool all what we have to do is selecting the trimming edge you can follow the instructions here so we need to select the trimming edge and press enter select the objects that you need to trim this is the first object and the second object because it's a polyline that will cut them both by this new parser segment and press enter done as you can see that works too so you can even do a combination of the two rather than what we've done before so you can draw simply a line here three meters that way another line three meters this way and we can draw a parcel segment between these two lines and then we go and delete these two sketching lines we don't need them anymore and trimming to this new segment that we just created so selecting the segment for the cutting or the trimming segment enter and selecting the two segments they have to be trimmed by this segment done so the, the whole point i'm trying to make here it's usually easier to try to use the autocad tools to sketch your change first make sure it's exactly what you want it then start editing your um, parser segments rather than start straight away working with editing the parser segments that may come with lots of other errors for measuring the offset or uh, inserting the uh, intersection points and the rest of it